Hello! Today I'll be showing you how to refill an Epson 18XL cartridge. Before I start, I should tell you that just refilling this cartridge alone won't get it functioning again. You will need a chip resetter. And this is the correct resetter for this cartridge. And we do sell these on our website, refreshcartridges.co.uk. Okay, so what you'll need to refill your cartridge is the cartridge tank. And this will need to be around 25% full. So on your machine, a lot of the time, when it starts to get low, you'll get an exclamation mark. And that is the point where you would want to refill your cartridge, otherwise the chip may not reset. So you'll need one of those. You'll need something to make a hole in the top of the cartridge, and these are ideal. You can get these in a set um, of refilling equipment. We also sell the sets on our website. You'll need something to block the hole at the top and these are stoppers and they're made of rubber which will enable you to remove them and keep refilling the same cartridge. Alternatively, uh, if you don't have access to these, you can use a glue gun and just scoop out the glue when you would like to refill another time. And of course your ink in a syringe. Okay, to start refilling our cartridge, you'll see on one side of the cartridge there's a hole in the top left corner and we want to cover that with a piece of tape and that stops any excess leakage coming out of the bottom when we're refilling. Okay, so you want to start making a hole just across from your tape, just above where the E is and Epson and you want to do this very, very carefully as there's really flimsy film in the sides on the inside of this cartridge. Okay once we have our hole we want to carefully get our preloaded syringe and very very carefully start to fill this up. You'll want to wipe off any excess with some tissue. So once your ink cartridge is full, you want to get a little stopper or you can use a dollop of hot glue from a glue gun just over the top. And you just want to press this one in. So once that's in, you can remove your tape. And you are now ready to reset your chip. Okay, so in this part of the video, I'll be showing you how to use a chip resetter to reset the cartridge we have just filled. This one is the correct chip resetter for an 18 cartridge. It comes with a set of instructions. Okay, so this might take more than one attempt, these are very fiddly. So you want these pins to make contact with the gold strips that are on the chip. There's an indicator light at the top and you want this to turn green. As you can see that chip is now reset as that indicator showed green. However, if it only shows red, that may mean the chip cannot be reset. Either the, chi uh, the cartridge has been run too low or the chip is damaged in some way. I'll just show you again with another cartridge. And that chip on this cartridge is also reset. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful.